I don't know how to f- say it. Back at CQB City again, where I was able to take my Article 1 and turn it into a fully custom MTW. Since I haven't been playing too many airsoft tournaments, the only primary I have is the Arc Air Sports Rifle. So I figured it might be a good change of pace if I turn the Article 1 into an MTW. Here we are, bro. Before we get started, I want to thank this month's channel members, Algebra, HSA Doc, Christos, and CQ Speed. Thank you guys. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to purchase the Lunchables I can have once a week for dinner. The Article 1 Speed Edition retails for around $1,000, largely due to its paintball style grip designed specifically for Speedsoft tournaments. For my custom build, I kept the body but swapped out the airline and the grip, added a new handguard, followed by an upgraded outer and inner barrel, and to finish it off, I attached a foldable stock. This build is tailored specifically to my playstyle. Lightweight and versatile, enough for both tight indoor skirmishes and outdoor engagements where reach is key. Have yourself in my mouth at you. <laughs> my approach to gameplay can be aggressive or conservative depending on the format. And for those of you that are curious, here's a breakdown of the parts that I used. For the handguard, I got a Daniel Defense 9 inch rail from Evike for about $110 a 7-inch outer and inner barrel from Wolverine Airsoft, close to $50. At the front, we have the Feiyachi M-Lock Tactical Light. Normally retailing for close to $35 on Amazon, this light was sent out to me to test out so there was no charge. Then we have the T238 Storm Tracer, which was also sent to me to test out, but typically retails for about $40. At the back of the rail, keeping everything organized is the Tem Fem Money Band, that's about $9. Checking out the foregrip, we have the Tam Fam Chop Stop, retailing for about $45, with one of its unique signature features, the geological map texture. The pistol grip is from Magpul, which retail for about $25. I got the red dot sight at the top that I got from eBay for about $20. The back Picatinny mount was $15 from my friend Damien, who also got it from our friend Nick. So it seems to be passed around quite a bit. And last but not least, the 5KU foldable stock from eBike that I got for about $65. In total, this build runs close to $1,350 or $1,425 if you include the T238 Tracer and Feiyachi Tactical Light, not counting the magazines, of course. You're probably curious about the gear that I'm using to support my HPA setup. I'm running the SpeedQB chest rig paired with the Atom Pack to run smoothly on the field. And for those tight situations, I've got my Tectonic Quake Grenade at the ready. With all that, I'm hoping to get some good games in. I've been noticing the decrease in the player base over the last few times I've been going to CQB City, and it's got me wondering, are any of you guys noticing this in your community? And if so, why do you think that is? All right, boys, it's been a minute. Let's go ahead and run it back. The most liked comment will be featured in next week's video. Hey, bro, your mask, your mask, your mask. Good trade, good trade. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. You're going. I'm already dead anyways. There you go, go, go. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Love you, bro. Say it back. Oh, hey. Grenade! Do you have a quake? Yeah. Did we did we just did we just <laughs> awesome, bro. Hey good shit bro